Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. Alright, so quickly, before I go to the video, you can download the frequency separation action that I've created by going to my website. So once you go to the website to download the frequency separation, you'll be getting from here to here. So the website is www.andredesigns.com. You go over to tutorials and then you'll see the option right here to download the actions. Um, my previous videos, you're able to download the image and edit with me. So you can always come here to download the images and also the, uh, the link is, is, is in the description. So you can also check that for, um, the link. Um, so, uh, let me quickly go to my YouTube channel. All right. So I'm at 1,435 subscribers guys. Thank you very much for the subscribe the likes the share the comments and all those um wonderful stuff all right let's get right to the editing now all right so this outfit was done by doll's collection i'm gonna put the link in the description for the model and also for the designer all right so the first thing we're gonna do is go to the frequency separation 16 bit because my image is a raw image so um yeah I'm got the radius gonna be at 6.4. I noticed that the radius at 6 or 5 works better for these images. All right, so I'm gonna um, go down to the low uh, frequency layer, and then I'm gonna select my mixer brush. The mixer brush is normally under um, brush, so once you hold on on brush, you will see the option for the mixer brush. Ensure that you always clear the mince up the Ensure that you always clear the mixer brush if you see a color right here and use 2% for wetness. Everything else remains the same. All right, so we're going to come right here now, get my brush a little bit smaller. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, paint on the model's skin just to get it even and flatten the skin. So if there's any pimple or any blemish, you know, we can quickly remove it by just using the brush so it's both it, it's it's evening out the skin and it's also um flattening the um pimples or acne or anything well pimples and acne same thing <laughs> all right so i'm flattening the the face right now i mean this is very easy to do you, you don't really have to um you know um I mean, this is an easy process, basically. Just, so look, before and after. So all I did was to just follow the lines. I just follow where the, the shadows are and where the light hits. That's basically it. That's all you have to do. Wherever you see the light hits. So the here you have light, you just brush it. Here is dark, you just brush it. Here, light, dark, brush it. That's just it. It's not hard at all. So see, the face looks even right now, as you can see. All right, so I'm going to go down to the model's neck, and I'm going to do the same thing. So right here, if you notice, it's dark. So I'm just going to just do right here. And then here is dark as well, just right here. And then in the middle is light, so good. Right here is light. So let's look at it before and after for that, so before after see the big difference so we can do more over this side same thing so normally i don't go this way i always go vertical i don't normally go horizontal when i'm doing when i'm brushing just my preference actually all right So I'm trying not to go from the dark area to the light area, but sometimes you may have to do it just to flatten here. And then you'd use a clone stamp tool to get rid of this line. But that's up to you though. If you want to get rid of the, the, the shadow there, you can get rid of it. If you don't want to, I mean, you don't necessarily have to. I'm using an X pen. 
Um, X Pen right now is selling for like sixty three dollars. When I got it, it was for like um, eighty nine dollars. This pen is really good. You don't necessarily have to go with a Wacom Wacom tablet. Um, that's mad expensive. I mean, the X Pen works just as good. All right, that looks good. So we'll come over this side. All right, let's look at the before and after for that. Before, after. See that dramatic change? <laughs> All right, let me come down here to the arm. Right here. So if you notice the mark on her hand is going away, see? And also the veins. So I see the, the, the um, mixer brush is a powerful tool. Really powerful. And the good thing about the mixer brush is that it does not um, blur the skin. You can still see the texture, so that's a good thing. Let's come down to our thigh. Do the same thing. So what the aim really is to always um, have a natural looking photo. You don't want it to look fake at all. So because I was using the flash, I was using the Explorer um, 600. I was shooting high speed sync basically. Um, the light was on this side. So when the light sh shoots across, I wasn't using any diffuser either. I was using the diffuser that actually comes with the light. Um, it will cast a shadow because of the um, the leg that is crossed here. So for stuff like this, it's best to put it on the put the light on this side, and then you won't cast a shadow. You wouldn't have a shadow on this side either. Maybe we just put it like directly here, you know, when you're shooting. All right, so that looks good. Let's look at it before and after for everything. Before, after. All right, so the next step now is to go to the high frequency layer and press S on your keyboard for the clone stamp tool at 100% flow. We're going to zoom in and we're going to remove um, blemishes and stuff like that. So what you're going to do right here now is to sample right above what you're going to remove and then click on what you'll be removing. So you sample by using alt on the keyboard so you press alt on the keyboard and then you can just um uh click on what you'd like to remove so there's not much i need to remove here so we come down to the neck i'm just gonna get rid of the line so i'm just gonna click right here so what you do, you hold on an alt. Whenever you find the section that you'd like to take it from, you click, you hold on an alt, and then when you want to hold on an alt, you'll see this thing right here. So that means it's selected the area, and then you just click once, and then you brush the area that you'd like to use, or the source you'd like to take it from. All right, so for this line right here, I'm just gonna select this side. So that's gone. For this side, I'm just going to do right here. All right. I don't think I need to trouble that. Let, let, I'm going to leave that one. That one too. But let me try over this side and see what it looks like. Nah. So I'm going to leave that. <laughs> don't necessarily have to remove it. I could remove it, but nah. Too much work. All right. So, um... Single thing else I need to remove. Oh, yes, I need to come right here and remove this. Yeah, that looks good. I don't think I need to do anything else here. That looks good. All right, so let me go down to the model's thigh and we're going to remove this little mark right here. This right here. That's it. There's nothing else for me to remove. All right. Uh, hmm. Next step is to apply dodge and burn. So I'm going to go to the dodge and burn option right here. And then move it to the top. All right. So I'm going to start with the burning. I'm going to get my brush. I'm going to press B on the keyboard for the brush. 
ensure that your flow is at one percent and then what you're going to do now is to just brush the dark area let me just zoom this in a little bit right i'm going to start with the face all right so right here you know it's going to be dark so i'm just going to brush it like that so let's look at it before and after for that before after so what i'm doing i'm giving the shape i'm giving the face a shape now okay so now it's flattened so now we have to give it a shape all right so right here now oh get my brush a little bit bigger right here just gonna darken it a little bit so before and after and that's it don't need to do anything else right there all right right here you can see it's dark so you're just gonna just do the dark areas Sometimes if the area is already dark, 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 you don't need to apply anything else to it because it's going to look too much, you know, like too much is added to it. It may look fake. You don't want to do that. All right, down here, right here, right here, right here. That's it for the burning, see, before, after, before, after. So now we're going to do dodging, which would be referred to as highlighting in makeup so we're just gonna go right here and then the um the burn would be um contouring in in makeup so under the eye i'm just gonna lighten it a little bit over here as well the chin as well right here so let's look at the before and after so before after oh the forehead as well you have to do that as well good so we're gonna come down here right here we have light it's gonna paint it right here right here and then we're gonna come down to the guy oh that's too much yeah, we have to you, you have to ensure that you don't add too much light in one section maybe just like that and then test it to see what it looks like okay that looks good all right that looks good all right so there's nothing else i need to do as it relates to dodge and burning so the next step now is to create a new layer Control shift alt e Control j to duplicate it and then i'm gonna do I'm gonna make an adjustment to her shoulder. So I'm gonna go to Control Shift X and that's going to bring up the liquify tool. And then I'm just gonna adjust her shoulder a little bit right here. So I'm just gonna get the push left tool and then I'm just gonna um, just come down like this. Good, I'm gonna do this one as well. Perfect, all right. So I'm just gonna click okay i'm done with that so what we're going to do now i'm just going to duplicate this again Control j and then i'm going to open the camera raw you can come here to open camera raw under filter and you can also use Control shift a and that pulls up the camera raw and as you know i always do auto and auto looks good as usual and then i'm just going to tweak it a little bit so i'm just going to bring down the exposure a little bit then i'm just going to do the dehaze bring some color and some dramatic look to the image <laughs> all right and then i'm going to come to hmm, i'm going to go over to the hs hsl option i'm going to select the hue and i'm just going to adjust the light the green actually so i'm going to put in some green in the image um yellow is just a little bit uh, good I'm gonna go over to the saturation option and put some green in it again good right there right there should be good all right there's nothing else I need to do in this um, section so I'm just gonna click OK all right so let's look at it before and after so before after before after before after before after before all right so I am now going to apply color balance. 
So I'm going on to the adjustment layer here and then we'll go to color balance and then I'm going to go to shadows and then I'm going to add 5% of blue to the shadows. And then I'm going to come back down to the adjustment layer here, go to brightness and contrast and I'm going to add 10% of contrast to the image. Then I'm going to go down back to the adjustment layer and then I'm going to go to color lookup. I'm going to change this to about 37% and then I'm going to play with the different lots and see if I can find one that looks really good. I think I like this one. Let's look at it before and after for this one. Before, after, before, after. Just a subtle change. I'm going to try something else. Oh, I like this one. This one looks good. I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. Right there should be good. So it gives this a soft type of look. I like this. I love this actually. Um, hmm. I'm going to add some more contrast to it. So I'm going to put this about 5. You know what? I'm going to do 10. Alright, good. Alright, so that's it for the coloring and adjustment of this image. I'm going to come down here and put everything in one in one um, group. Not sure what's happening here. Uh, oh, I'm holding on, on the wrong button. Huh. Should be holding on, on shift and I'm also holding on, on something else. Alright, so I'm going to select this one. Hold on, on shift and then control G for group. And then let's look at the before and after now. Let me put this on the screen properly like that. Good. And then um, before, after, before, after. All right, so I am done. So my next step now is to save this image. I'm going to just click save. I'm coming from Lightroom, so automatically it's going to be saved to my Lightroom. All right, so thank you guys for watching. More videos coming soon. Uh, remember to turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified each time a new um, video has been uploaded. Um, continue watching. Bye-bye.